Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Mosaic Basketball Cello Pack Edition. Two boxes filled with cello packs, 24 total, pick your team 10. This is our last two box break for uh, for the time being. Maybe, we'll, maybe we have some more on order. Giving away the Pelicans per those instructions there. So big thanks to everyone who bought at least two teams. All right, so Cascade bought at least two. That's an entry for the Pels. EA bought 10 teams. So that's five entries for the Pels. Josh E bought eight teams. That is four opportunities. Josh Lucas with two. That's an entry. Matt J, two teams. That's an entry. Rich with four teams. That's two entries. There you go. there you have it let's roll it let's randomize it six and a five eleven times name on top after eleven gets the pels good luck one two three six. ten and once more right yep eleven times again Name on top, EA with the Pels. After 11, I think it's the first time you won the Pelicans in all these breaks. There you go, last time's a charm. Let's re-alphabetize this by team name now. And now let's print and rip. Break does take a little bit because we gotta gotta get packs. Gotta open packs to get into packs. Packs on packs on packs. There you go. Alright, good luck. Who's in this break? I know Cascade is in this break. Cascade has the uh, the Grizzlies. Got a filler break coming up after this break. This break should take us a little bit past the top of the hour. We'll do the filler break, and then we'll see. We'll go through about, I don't know, got a little over a dozen orders right now. We'll go through those and see what else is filled. We got plenty to do, folks, and we've got Late Night with Sean Jaspi. right here all right packs on packs on packs uh vanessa folks showed me a really funny video with javel mcgee so there's there's an ante de compo on the on the lakers right so apparently he's in the bubble too and uh there was a video of javel mcgee kind of kind of dogging Giannis a little bit saying that his little brother got one first got a chip first Pretty funny. Those Lakers had a good time. Letting off a lot of steam, folks. You're stuck in the bubble for a long time. For that long. Shirtless J.R. Smith was out there in the Lakers celebrations for my Lakers. I think he was shirtless before the the final buzzer even went off. I think he, he already popped that, popped that top. Kyle Kuzma admitted during a press conference that he was half drunk. He was like, I don't know. I'm a little half drunk right now. Wasn't too deep into the 
It wasn't too late into the night. It was on. Right? It was post game. So. Got the uh, my Dodgers won today. They pounded on the Braves. We got the Astros leading four two. Rays are leading three nothing in this series. Astros trying to grab a game in this series. And Tyler Glass now is on the mound. He is a giant. I didn't realize how tall he was. I want I want him to stand next to Jose Altuve for comparison. His NBA debut silver, Cameron Johnson. Tyler Hero NBA debut for the Heat, Rich. And an NBA debut green, Tyler Hero, another one for Rich. Tyler Hero has had a great season. There's a silver Giannis Antetokounmpo. Nice. That is for Josh Edlitz and the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm sure Giannis will, will win a chip or two before all said and done. Drew Holiday. There's an NBA debut, John Morant for Cascade Lesage. First of many, I hope. There's Enos Cantor, Tyler Hero, Talon Horton Tucker. Talon Horton Tucker has a chip, folks. I think he maybe played two minutes in all of the finals. He gets a ring, too. He's a Laker. Rich with the champs. Tyler Hero for Rich and the Heat. Alright, a little cardboard dust all over there. There's the will to win. Anthony Davis, he certainly had it. Bowl Bowl Green. Maybe we'll see him more often next year. Josh Lucas and the Nuggets. That would certainly help his stock. There's, Le there's the man himself, LeBron James. Did what he set out to do. Once again, Rich has my Lakers. And Dean Wade, not Dwayne Wade, but Dean Wade. Rookie scripts for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Josh Luke is with the Cavs. Kobe White, NBA debut. And that will go to EA and Doubles. And the exclusive pink camos. Of course, all of these will ship. In fact, all cards ship.
Pistons. Cameron Johnson, rookie. Cam Reddish, NBA debut. And Nasir Little. NBA debut, Kendrick Nunn, pink camo for Rich and the Heat. Nasir Little will go to EA. Cam Reddish will go to Josh E. Cam Johnson will go to EA. Quindary Weatherspoon, Lucas Samanich, those teammates will go to Josh and the Spurs. Kai Bowman. And Eric Pascal is teammate. So a couple of pairs of teammates. Warriors, Warriors, Kai Bowman, Eric Pascal, Josh Edlitz. We got Lucas Samanich and Quindary Weatherspoon. That'll go to, once again, Josh and the Spurs. All right, second and final box for the time being. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll, we'll try to, to try our best to scrounge up some more of this. got some options. They've got the number two overall pick. They got a couple youngsters on the team. They got a healthy Clay Thompson. A healthy, hopefully, he healthy Clay Thompson and Steph Curry. So they they might be, they were a non-factor this year, but they could be a force next year. Which is kind of worrisome for the rest of the league. Do they get a number two? Do they, do they make the pick? Do they make a trade? Do they trade for Giannis? They say, hey, Giannis, here's a few of our youngsters. The number two overall pick. Future picks. They would have to probably include future picks. Maybe a, maybe a Draymond Green. That'd still leave you. And then, they, you know, they could fill up, fill up the rest of the team with... Kind of like the Lakers did, you know, just... I mean, if you got Steph, Clay, and... Giannis. Giannis to the Warriors. Luka to the Lakers. Wow, Luka Doncic to the Lakers. I can't. Even, I'm not. I can't even think about that. That's just too crazy, Randy. No, I, I have a feeling Mark Cuban's going to keep Luka Doncic on that team for as long as possible. He hopes. They might. They might win a. They might win a chip or two, a sneaky chip or two, in the next five years. Magic Johnson said that yesterday. Well, I love Magic, but it sounds very, very ambitious. I mean, unless Luka Doncic just doesn't like it in Dallas for some reason. Maybe they don't put a team around him. Maybe he wants a test free agency. It's possible. I mean, I want I want to stay in the moment and enjoy this Lakers uh, championship, but it's it's hard not to think about well, what are they going to do next year? <laughs> you know, they I think Anthony Davis, they got to maybe re-sign Anthony Davis. You know, I think a lot of guys are were on one year deals, so they got to have to they have to figure that out. But Cran said you don't think the Warriors could afford three max contracts and field the bench that isn't full of D-leaguers, right? I mean, Lakers kind of, well, no, Lakers didn't have a third max contract, but Lakers have Anthony Davis and LeBron James and then, <laughs> and the rest. I don't know, but Giannis, Clay, and Steph probably could win with D-leaguers. I mean, if they don't trade that pick, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson only have a certain shelf life, right? And they're not getting any younger. So it depends on whether the Warriors want to go with 
with uh, with I guess grizzled vets like Clay Thompson and Steph Curry and add yet youth, or maybe take advantage of their their prime window. I'm sure they they'll have a lot of post prime years, but. Playoff Rondo is a real thing, folks. There's there's Rondo right there. Playoff Rondo is a thing. Right, yeah. So, like, I mean, how old is Steph? There's our first Zion. I mean, Steph's going to be, Steph could probably be 40 years old and still be knocking down threes and still be a productive player for the rest of his career. But I'm talking, like, prime takeover a game Steph Curry. You know, there's only so many years of that left. EA with the Pelicans. So 30 years old. So yeah, there's there he is right there. In fact, does he have his birthday right? No, it doesn't. But 32. Yeah, so maybe only has like two or three years. I mean, he's coming off an injury too, but two or three years of, if he stays healthy, of just like prime elite MVP level Steph Curry. Before there's the inevitable, it's only a you know the inevitable decline happens. There's Isaiah Roby Silver, so yeah, maybe maybe you don't, maybe you trade that pick to kind of get into win now ish mode. Right, exactly, Cran. So maybe yeah, maybe, and Clay's thirty, so yeah, they might want to trade the pick, get something they could ha that can kind of help them win a title or two now, especially since they're in that brand new arena. They want to put seats in butts and seats in there. Here's Danny Green. Poor Danny Green who missed that three-pointer. I mean, apparently he got death threats. Him and his him and his girl. Getting death threats. Come on. Come on, Pete. Come on, Pete. He was a lot more successful with the three ball and the clincher. So. <laughs> it just could have been. Uh, yeah, he's, 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 he is. Danny Green wasn't phased, though. He was like, I don't know. I didn't care. He's like, whatever. Yeah, and he he went he hit like three or four threes in the in the final game. But come on, too serious. I don't. They're probably not even Laker fans. Probably people were betting money on the game. <laughs> you know, they lost their DraftKings lineup or lost a thousand dollars betting on on the Lakers. There's LeBron James base. Yeah, that's what they reported, Cran. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous, but I don't know. Probably. Probably anonymous keyboard warriors hiding behind the screen on Twitter. They wouldn't say that to Danny Green's face. Danny Green, Danny Green would knock them out. There's Zion Williamson base for EA. Ooh, are we getting closer and closer to a pink camo? Maybe a nice parallel. There's Schofield Green. Do the Bucks even trade Giannis? I think they're gonna to try to hold on to him as long as possible. I think we're we're in for another exciting NBA offseason though. A lot of people have to be re signed. I think the Heat have to re sign a lot of people if they wanna they want to get back into it. Could be a lot of player movement, people trying to build teams. I know the Clippers were a little embarrassed. You know, the Clippers want to get back on track, retool that team. Got to get a new coach, too. Kevin Porter Jr., so. Things they got to do. You know, you know the. Mark Cuban and the Mavs. They're they're like, hey, we got poor Zingas. We got we got uh, Luka Doncic. Maybe they feel like they're only a couple pieces away from from a title. Nuggets played incredible basketball. You know, Jazz played good basketball. Those teams might think, hey, maybe we're a couple players away from from, from making something happen. I don't I don't I have no idea who the free agents are. Yeah, Giannis on the Heat could be really interesting. But if you want to get Giannis on the trade market, what would you have to give up, Adam? I mean, send Tyler Hero back to Wisconsin? They wouldn't give a Tyler Hero, would they? 
But they do have Tyler Hero and Kendrick Nunn. You know? Maybe they move Kendrick Nunn, but Kendrick Nunn's not as... Not as... Wasn't, it's not as uh, exciting as Tyler Hero, though. But you gotta... I think you gotta move, like... I mean, the Heat would have to move, yeah, a bunch of first-rounders. A Tyler Hero. They're not moving Bam out of bio. They need that size. There's Sekou Demboya. For the Pistons, that'll be for EA. DeAndre Hunter for Josh E. Dylan Windler for Josh Lucas. Right, Tyler Hero, Dragic, two or three first could get you Giannis. You know, then you got Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Giannis. And Bam could play the play center. Tybal will go to Josh. Leaving Giannis just to just to play just to you know run around and score. Make make plays like he usually does. There's Carson Edwards. Plenty of shooters around Giannis. He like he'd like that. There's Kendrick Nunn right there. I know Heat wouldn't like losing Tyler Hero, but if if a, if a package around Tyler Hero means there he is right there means they get Giannis, I think they'd be okay. There's Taco Fall, NBA debut for the Celtics, Richard and Tyler Hero and his teammate Kendrick Nunn. Pink camo, Rich Ferretis with that, bam. And boom. Nice, ladies and gentlemen, pretty solid break. One jammer, one lonely jammer in the middle. A couple Zions and a couple heroes and whatnot, so pretty solid break. Keep your eye out for more of this mosaic. I don't know when we're gonna get mosaic hoops back but I'm sure we're trying to get some back. So go to jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's our website right there. Check it out. I'm Joe, and I'll break more of this with you next time. Bye-bye.